He's been called the greatest cowboy of all time. It's been 30 years since his story hit the big screen with the movie Eight Seconds. Oklahoma's own Lane Frost was a world champion bull rider from Atoka who died when a bull hooked him in the back after a ride in 1989. Now a new documentary is giving a closer look at his life. News on 6's Tess Monty takes us to a special screening in Lane's hometown. Reba's place in Atoka was the perfect place for Oklahoma's debut of the Lane Frost documentary. It's so funny because Lane told me one time after we'd lived here in Oklahoma for quite a while, and wouldn't it be neat if they'd make a movie about me and Reba? He said, and I don't mean us together, but what she's done and what I've done. And, and here, after all this time, I'm quite sure he's giggling about it up there. All eyes were locked to the screen during a two-hour private viewing of the documentary that Lane's mom, Elsie, says gives a much more personal look into Lane's life than the Hollywood version. I let, I let it all the way through my handhold just to make it look stiffer and stuff. The real Lane, and this is the real thing, you know, that people that knew him really well talk, and so... Uh, I think they'll come away knowing Lane much better. The documentary, she says, clears up two things the movie got wrong. For one thing, the movie Eight Seconds portrayed Clyde uh, a lot different than what he really is. It portrayed him as a dad that was never satisfied with Lane, and that was not true at all. And then it didn't want to tell that Lane was a Christian, and I was very upset about that. But this tells that. Production companies Tough Draw and Out of Order Studios spent years collecting stories from those who were closest to Lane, including his widow, Kelly Macy. So impressed. The guys did such a great job. I mean, they nailed every area. She was open about the rock bottom moments of their relationship and how Lane, finding God's salvation, help save their marriage. It's easy for Hollywood to brush over a tough time and just be quick with it. And so for us, it was just, you know, our focus was an opportunity to expand on the stories and really get the truth behind how those things happen, but then also go even deeper. Kelly says even though Lane was just 25 when he died, he lived a full life with the time he had. It's almost like that he knew that his time was coming because he was always in a hurry to do stuff, always hurrying to get this and this and this, this done. It's almost like he knew that his time was short. It was just a blessing to be a part of it. Now, nearly 35 years after Lane's final ride, the legend of that cowboy from Oklahoma, one of the greatest of all time, carries on to a new generation. Tess Monty, Oklahoma's own, News on 6.